Okay, we are live. Okay, now we are. It's brownie day. Yo. Brownies like little girls. You know, I never was a brownie or a girl scout. Uh-huh. No nuts. No, no nuts. No nuts. No nuts. No nuts. No nuts. Except for that picture we took earlier. Yeah, texture issues. This is proof. This was given to me when I was butter tops for Christmas. And it's actually the only thing I ever made out of this book. Betty Crocker's new mm. Boys and Girls Cookbook. Not nude, but new. New bed. And for some reason, I still have to go and look at it because I can never remember. I have uh, a, an issue whether it's baking powder or baking soda. To this day, I mix it up. If you look closely, you can see how all the messy thumbprints and whatnot have touched this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We like well, but when you cook, you gotta be messy, right? Is that part of the fun? Right. And uh, I've been using this, but I also add a bit to it because I've become quite a little cook. But I'll run down the recipe real fast, and then we can put it up later. It's super simple. I hear people make brownies from boxes. I'm unfamiliar with that. And this is simple. This is this is what I'm. This is what the book says. Four ounces of unsweetened chocolate. I do it different. Two thirds of a cup of shortening. You melt it together. Two cups of sugar and four You're eggs. You're gonna melt the butter. Shortening. One and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. One teaspoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of salt. You bake it at 350 in a nine by nine pan for. Well, that's the deal with all-purpose flour. I mean, you got the flour. No. It's got purpose. Why do we need all-purpose flour, Jane? What makes it better, first of all, is I don't use those funky squares, okay? I use, I use, it doesn't, doesn't matter the brand, I use dark baking cocoa and regular baking cocoa. That makes a difference, first of all, at least in my mind. Darkness. And I'm making a double batch because I'm mailing you. Oh, my God, you, the viewership is popping. We are popping. Hello, welcome to Jane yes. Ellen's Cooking Brownies. Making the bra We're making the brownies you want to eat, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And I know you want to know this. Instead of using that unsweetened um, baking stuff that you squeeze out or you melt, the way you fake it is you use the powder, and then for every for every three tablespoons of this, you have one tablespoon of oil. I use canola. Awesome. Canola. So, and at this point, basically, I just holy cannoli. And remember, I'm doubling. So I'm, make, I'm going to put it in a 13 by 9 pan. I've already greased it. Grease is the word. So I'm doubling. So you're going to see me do a lot. You look like a pink lady today. So. Don't I? Don't you? Um, we're seniors. We're going to rule the school. We're going to break brownies. It's going to be really cool. That's my cool thing. I don't know. Anyway. And for those of you watching tonight, a special plus payment show. They're all mm -hmm. special. I'm going to have to count. One. It would probably help you with what I was doing if you put the weight. My new camera. And you're coming to us live from the Carolinas. No, I'm just kidding. You're coming to us live from Tennessee. Why do you always say that? I don't know. Because you, know, you look, because you like, remind me of like, I don't know, Cara, because I feel like you have a beach and sand. And I, I, want, I just want you to be on the coast. That's all. I do too. So. I hate not being near a coast. I hate it. I hates it, I told you. I hates it. So how many times have you bumped into all the, the Tennessee Google Pluses in your... <laughs> um, not at all. Exactly. Not yeah. at all. Okay. There's a microwave yeah. behind you and a fridge. Hey, can we see what's in Jane Ellen's fridge or is that a mystery? <laughs> Shortening. Now, it's two-thirds and two-thirds, so that's... A cup and a third, but I've done it so many times, I eyeball it. Don't eyeball it. You really shouldn't eyeball your baking, but you have no idea how often I make brownies. So. How often do you make brownies? A lot. So that's basically a third. So you got to melt the shortening. You could melt. It's dangerous for you to be in the frozen food section because you could melt all this I could stuff. Melt, just so you'll know. Shortening. One tablespoon of shortening has 100 calories. Holy crap. Well, what? but when you mix it all together, you cut it all up. Bad. Who needs a calorie? That's more than one tablespoon. You know, I never read what you shortened. 
uh, 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 or butter, but I've never made it with butter. Just butter, wow. Butter, yeah, yeah. This is not an official show. We're just cooking. Yeah, we're just cooking. We're just steaming. Hey, how is how's Broadminded going? Any updates on Broadminded? Well, do another show on Thursday. Is it the same cast of characters? Yes. It is indeed. Myself, Amy Gabriel, Lynette Young. I, I, you may have heard of Lynette. Um, oh, I've heard girl. that name. Uh, Karen Elaine and Cynthia Ferris. I wonder, Cynthia is a vegetarian. I, I wonder if this lard actually comes from something animal. I mean, if she's that hardcore. She eats eggs, I think. I guess I'm such a narcissist, I never bothered to ask. So what I'm doing is I'm doing one cup of the regular. Oh, look. I'm sorry, did you say something? Oh, I'm sorry. It says it has antioxidants, so that means it must be good for you. Yes. I'll never forget. For all those Australians watching, Auntie who? <laughs> <laughs> Auntie, uh, who names a kid oxidant? That's By the way, when you use dark chocolate in your brownies, it does turn them black. If you're not used to seeing your brownies blackies instead of brownies, just be prepared. They're going to be a whole lot more rich in color. And I'm going to move the camera for just a minute so you can see what this looks like. I know you care. Hey, Jane, can we see what that looks like? By the way, I have done local cooking shows on TV a lot. Local, yeah. like Google Local. local. TV. Local oh no, TV. we're going down. We're coming to Berlin. In well, coming in front of, uh -huh, I'm trying to look. Local TV. There we go. Oh, so we've got yeah. the two different. Wait, we, we call that chocolate here in New York. That's yeah. chocolate. Two different cocos and the oh, two God. fats are in here. The good fat, chocolate. the bad fat. You take the good fat, you take the bad fat, and then you have brownies. Yeah. The brownies are fat. So we'll put it back up there. Un momento, and then it gets Blair Witch to Cooking. Get to look gorgeous. Do Pesci wants a brownie? You want a brownie with that, huh? I like to eat your brownie. What? No, it's I guess I nice. could hear that. I know everyone wants to see these brownies. Everyone wants to see your brownies. I have to tell you that when I eat other people's brownies, as if I would, I am so disappointed. So very disappointed because they just don't taste that good. These brownies are just that simple and that delicious. And what I'll be doing is my my magical secret part of the recipe. I add coffee. When you add coffee to anything, don't you mean coffee? Coffee. When I add co when you add coffee to anything um, chocolate, it intensifies the flavor. The brownies are not meant to taste like coffee, and they don't. You just add a little bit. Coffee. Cool. Coffee. Oh, I love it when it looks like this. Oh, and the angels sang. Uh, hold on. Brownies. Oh. Oh. So many oh. brownies. Oh. Are we, so are we adding nuts or we're not? No nuts? No, no, no nuts. No nuts. No, no, no nuts. I'm a huge fan of nuts, but... Yes, you could. Uh, no nuts. So how does this cooking show compare to the other ones we've seen on Google Plus? No, we, we shouldn't do that. I don't know. I haven't watched any. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. None of them have had me, so... Um, None of them had you. Isn't it None beautiful, though? Nuts. Look how the chocolate shines. Like By the way, the when you're melting chocolate in the microwave, in the micro, dear, when you're melting chocolate in the micro, you have to do it a little bit at a time. And you have, if you add a little butter, it keeps it shiny. Everything is better with butter. Better with butter. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh. My stomach hurts looking. I mean... <laughs> Just thinking about it. This so beautiful. Oh, you got chocolate on your uh, on your shirt there, dear. So I get totally filthy when I cook. Yeah, like yeah. naughty. Filthy. I I'm sure I'll get covered even more. I don't know why I ever cook in white, but... I well, don't. you can wear white before they do. So. Yeah, I can. I can wear white. Okay. So, do you remember how much uh, sugar to add? It's so simple. Two cups per batch and making two batches. How many batches you needed to, that? You needed to do that in Christopher Walken. Do you remember? It's mm -hmm. so simple. 
Speaking of Christopher Walken, I showed my girls Mouse Hunt the other day. They're still scarred by it. Oh. I don't want to Is think about that it. movie. Is that wasn't that Matthew Broderick and Ethan Lane or one it of them? It was Nathan Lane and somebody else. But he played the um, the exterminator, the creepy exterminator. I guess all of his roles, he played the creepy. I mean, yeah, I think just by nature. He's <laughs> Although catch me if you can. I don't know. Maybe it was a little less creepy. Little less. Little less. Ash has blacked out on us from mm. all the chocolate. Sugar. One. Oh, ha, ha. You know, teaching your kids to bake is an easy way to te teach them to count. Can you hear me? I can hear uh, We can. We just can't see you. And when you say bake, you mean in the kitchen, not mm -hmm. the other kind. Oh, yeah. I never put my children in the oven. That's good. Or, or Look at or, that. Oh, we're coming in the oh, That's right. That's sugar. We got some sugar. Kids, that's sugar. That's not snow. Or Isn't it beautiful? Are... Look at that. Sugar and stuff. Isn't that beautiful? It was beautiful. a lid. That is so freaking beautiful. By the way, I put Trinity off. And we're back. It's so beautiful. And I have to actually concentrate and stir. There's no reason to, to use a mixer for this. You got numb. You got numb. Mix it. See, that's why it's in the kids' book, because you don't use anything electric. It's electric. It's electric. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. It's very beautiful. Ash is doing his um, drawing. Love scribbles. People are dedicating scribbles to each other. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh sweet. Are people actually buying scribbles from him? The love thing. Um, is he, is he, is he breaking in this love? You're hello? all anonymous, <laughs> and you can send a scribble to someone. But at, they're anonymous, but Ash knows. Well, Ash knows, but Ash is extremely trustworthy. Ash will never tell. Except if they, if they, if they cross him, Can tell. you guys see me? I wonder. Yes. We can hear you, and now we can see you, so. Oh, uh, excellent. I wonder. No, I'm, I up, I'm uploading the, the images so that... Chugging a lot. Right, I'm just giving. So, Ash, how many people? How many people are sending ones to me? I've had to knock back thirty percent of the requests just because they're a bit strange. But um, about, you know, I've got about twenty that I'm doing. I've got about twenty What's that the, I'm doing. Uh, can we hear without? You don't have to mention any names. Can we hear something that was the strangest request? Or? Well, yeah, there was one person that wanted to send out like 20 of them and I'm like well you know I'm, I'm doing this for no money in my own time just for fun so I'd rather not draw 20 could you maybe pick one or two and then that person was like but what if they don't like me back maybe I should send out more was this person so that maybe adult? someone will like me I didn't look into it too closely <laughs> oh, this is something new. Okay. I'm adding the eight yeah, well eight. even if it was I wouldn't say that's right, because he's trustworthy. And you'll notice the egg starts to cook as soon as I put it in here, so I have to stir it in fast. I'm doing eight eggs because it's a double batch. Double, double. Eight eggs double has pleasure. more calories than shortening, I right hear. No, I think the shortening will really do you. Yeah. I like to do, yeah, shortening. Oh, uh, middle of the day, hang up. Right, I didn't get enough sleep last night, so it might as well be... 2 a.m., not 2 p.m. You know what I'm saying? Dogs. I, mean, people. I hear you, my dog. My dig. Do you like how people shorten everything? It's like, instead of saying details, now people say, oh, what are the deets? Yeah, but it was, didn't that start with swingers? Really? He said deets? He just said money yeah. and things. No, he said digits. He said digits. Yeah. Get, get the girls deets. digits. It's digits. It's a, it's a work. It's a work. Would I be John? I would want to be uh, Vince Vaughn in that movie, but I think I'd be John Favreau. No way. Yeah, duh. He's like, she's like, yeah, duh, because I'm. I look more like him than Vince Vaughn. Paul is all like, One, two, three, I'm all grows up, and I'm all grows up. Hey, are you happy? Yeah. We're making brownies here on the movie Tastic. Cooking Tastic. Were you counting my eggs? Uh, was I supposed to? I can count the shelves, but thanks. We're on number seven. <laughs> Lucky number seven. 
Now, if you're just tuning in, that is brownie to be. That is not uh, anything that is unpleasant. That is all okay. sweet. That's because it's made with dark chocolate and regular unsweetened chocolate. Here you go. You can see oh, what I'm doing without got... reading them. Bronwyn is what I should be able to read. Okay. Read it to me because I can't quite see it. Hey, Bronwyn wants to know that wants you to know no, that no, no, no. I'm not, not is, uh, reading. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh, those are gorgeous. Yeah, everyone who great. requests one, they're getting a little, pers a little personal message on them. Well, unless people want to share them. I'm not sharing them. So no, everyone gets their own personal say, little message say, on it too. Let's say a host lovely. screenshot of them. Should they be able to be posted? No, that's that's fine. I mean, I'm sharing them just with the person that they're for, and that person I would like I would like to think that they would love to share them with everyone. I'm just sending them to them. Because well, so let me ask you this: someone idea. has a crush on if someone has a crush on you, and you make this one for them. Uh, whether mm. they like them or not, well, do you think they feel like you'd be a little scared to like reshare something like that, or you're sharing it privately, right, with some with the people? Okay, so someone says to me, look, I've got a crush on this person, can you send them one of these scribble crushes? And that's all I'm doing. And if that person but do you send it to them is on awkward, Google then they can... Yes, privately, okay. only to them. Awesome. So they can decide if they want to acknowledge that or not. I and if, not, and if they don't ever share it, then that drawing, that drawing will never be seen ever. And do you feel... Cool. So do you, how do you, oh, you don't mind? Okay. No, nah, I mean, what do they take? I think they take me ten minutes each. It's fine. Right. It's fun. Do you know it's Cliff Roth? He speed dates. He's a speed date. Speed dater. Speed dating paint. something that should be done slowly. No, no oh, speed paint. paint. paint Does he speed paint. paint while he speed dates? If he Maybe he can speed date and speed paint. He that can speed be, paint his speed date. That would be speedily. Speedy. I know, right? That would be nice. Oh, what is going on on James? I see, I see a a flicker. It's a fan. Or or as as it's you a call fan. Them. It's a fan. I'm a fan. I know. Flower. Mm. All right. Well, we're getting technical on this show. Don't tune out with all the technicality. Come on, we're almost done. The big stick of flower. Listen to the swirls. Look at that swirl. I just think it's so beautiful the way the colors match. I'm so. I like that you perfected the swirl. So a lot of people take years to perfect the swirl, and you got to. I know the swirl. It's my move. It's my signature move. I know. It's like I can't. You shouldn't steal. People can borrow your swirl. You won't get mad at that. I've perfected the swirl. Perfecting the swirl. Oh. oh girl. One more bit of, it was a quarter cup and a whole cup again to make the double batch. Double, double. Double your pleasure. Double your dumb. Fun. Oh. That's what she you said. Are so beautiful, brownies. Brownies all around. Oh, yeah. Chocolate. Covered brownies. Hey, Rebecca Woodhead's watching. She says I'm an incorrigible. You are incorrigible. Incorrigible sluts, all you. That's what she sounds like. Polly says new cookbook. Anna Victoria Lego says Matthew, hello. New Smiley cookbook well. or new cookbook? No, you got it right the first time. Out of Victoria. Oh. <laughs> Anna Victoria. Victoria. Lego Victoria. Says, hello. What? Victoria. Which Victoria? Victoria? I love that movie. Which Victoria? It's a Julia Drews. Uh, she says she wants a piece of brownie. Where did I'm I doing good enough. Okay. We can't. And then Linny, Linny, sorry, it's Lynn Dickens or is it Dykins? Dickens or Dykins? It's Dykins. Would you rather eat it be Dykins or Dickens? She says new to cook should go together, Polly, especially with things like bacon. All right, sure. That's crisp. Okay, yeah, I've added the coffee. Add the coffee. Wait a minute, get a picture. Add some more coffee. Well, I don't want them to be coffee brownies, but I had a wee bit. You ready? Yes. 
Yeah. And I usually put toffee bits in here too, but I put toffee put bits in toffee. Put your toffee bits in your bit of toffee. And shake it around. Man, my sister is going to bitch about this. Oh, it takes too much like coffee. Uh, I say, well, uh, wrap the pork with So the add some more cocoa and I even out the coffee. Ooh, I like that motion. What, what in the brownies? Uh, she said, oh, Xander McRussell's challenge, maple bacon brownies. Have you ever made maple bacon brownies? Would no. you ever want to make? Never thought about it. So, I yeah. always want to increase the flavor. So I add chocolate chips, about a cup. Chocolate chips are on my mind. Hey, this is what you get with Matthew with not much sleep in the middle of the day, doing work here, doing work there. I find a Jane Yellow with a brownie and an Australian with a one-up mushroom thing. And here we are in the middle of the day. You never know what's going to happen. Look, I like how it's like a, it's like a, it's like kind of like in Star Wars, like the Return of the Jedi, where it's the pit. All right. You know what? Pans are hot. Remember that. Pans are hot. But what if the person holding the pan is hot? Then what? Oh, look at the spoon! Let's get a picture of that. Oh, you put a shadow. How about that? If only Ryan was here to see shadow. Here, yeah, here, here we go. Hold on, wait. Oh, that beautiful. It's like the chop. Would it be wrong? Would it be really wrong to call it a chocolate tsunami? Does that sound just wrong? I don't know. Viewers, what do you think? Do you think it's appropriate? Hold on, I'm the spatula. So is the spoon like now buried in the uh, swamp that is brown? Yes, it is. This is where uh, Rebecca Woodhead says I need to, something about me interviewing the actual Nye cat about how to cook pop tarts. So that should be fun. Uh, Lynn Lynn Dykins, maple bacon blonde brownies. Ah, uh, okay. Variety would kill the taste of bacon. Blondies. Okay, I see where she's coming from. And Xander says, definitely vanilla or caramel with bacon. All right, but chocolate-covered bacon is really good, so just I that. hear it is. It's the, it's the tits. Can we say that? We do. Yeah. Oh. It's the booze knees, mate. Now, this, by can the you, way... Can you do the next segment in your Julie Child's voice? Save the liver. <laughs> Mm. Oh, that's going to make a good speech, huh? Mm. 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 I guess it was hot and water. Somebody hot water burned the, the chain. Oh, my God. That is so good. Oh, my God. That is so good. If I think it's can we see your that? tongue? Can we get some tongue action with the chocolate? Uh, now let's, I want to see chocolate on the tongue. Chocolate. No, I want to see it. Ooh, that's hot. That's, like, that's special. I feel like someone beat you up. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. oh, that's oh, my God. I, I'm telling you, my favorite taste together are chocolate and coffee. And they both have the caffeine? Yep. When I had to go off caffeine when I was pregnant, sucks. I said, I said okay, I'll do it. But chocolate. I'm only going off the liquid caffeine. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cook this for... Hmm, 36 minutes at 350, because you always want to undercook, just a little bit. Yeah, you don't want it to be burnt. And then I'll just, I'll just watch it from there. I'll watch it, so, that's watch it. Watch it. That's the brownies. The brownies. So what's going to go with the brownies? Do you have a drink to go with the brownies? Or? Yeah, coffee. Well, I may own them. And a few will be for my kids, the rest for my sister. Again, chocolate clippers. For a single okay. version, you've got four ounces of unsweetened chocolate, two thirds of a cup of shortening, two cups of sugar, four eggs, one and a quarter cups of all purpose flour, a teaspoon of powder, baking powder, a teaspoon of salt. You can add a cup of nuts if you want. I add coffee. Nuts! And if you're doing a single batch, I cook them about 25 30 minutes. At I always undercook my uh, chocolate chip cookies as well. You like them soft? And I like my meat medium rare. I undercook everything. I you don't like anything crispy? Not even bacon? Oh, I do like bacon crispy. Uh, what about french fries? Yes. Calamari? No one likes calamari. 
What? I don't kill him, Martin. And just so you'll know today, all I've had is yogurt and a plate full of vegetables and hummus. So. Hummus, which you made yourself, right? No, uh, but I have stuff to make hummus with. What did I have? I had cereal with a banana. I should probably eat something else. Was the banana your guest or in the cereal? In the cereal. Banana Whoa. Banana scribble. 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 Crush scribble crushes. It would help if I didn't know what it was called. Scribble crushes. Ashland Nathan's. Ashland Nathan's. Go to Sorry, why is that? I'm I was so far I'm trying to track she down all the ones I've done. Out of it. She's so sleep deprived. Uh, so yeah, go and it is your it is three AM here. Yeah. And don't you have work? Actual work? Yeah. This is yeah, actual yeah, yeah, work. It's pleasurably actually. So uh how, so you're mailing all these brownies? You're not gonna be able to have one brownie? So. Well, I should not have any, so I won't have any. What about your kids? Well, they I just said I was going to save a few for my kids. Mm -hmm. The rest are, are going in the future. So that was, that was me having a brownie. I licked the spatula. Licking the spatula in all the right places. I say spatula in honor of Mr. Krabs. <laughs> I love my SpongeBob. Uh, so, Ash, has, Ash, does your daughter watch SpongeBob? Mm, she may have seen it, but no, she doesn't watch it. Really? I, it's, we don't get, oh, well, I think you can get it on Fox. You get Nickelodeon or whatever the pay TV crap is in Australia, but I don't have it. We don't do that kind of stuff as often oh, as we Oh, don't you now. Because they've got to do spider hunts. And well, everything. no, no. We've we've got um we've got com um commercial and non-commercial stations that are quite good that get a lot of the programming so we don't like need to have satellite TV like you guys do our we commercial and non-commercial is pretty good. We don't have a need. Also, we have um we have really nice weather so we go outdoors a lot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. When you say really nice, you're saying that yeah. it doesn't get crazy hot by you. Ever? It gets crazy hot, and that's nice weather. Yeah, that really awesome. is it gets well over have, 100 Is there grand. humidity down there? On the east coast, where the ocean goes to a city and then mountains, it's a lot humid. Where I am, it's like ocean, city, desert. So it's just dry, dry heat. A lot like um, Nevada. Oh, so you live like you, would live, you live like on the California side, and the other, the other side is like the New York side? Exactly right. So it's exactly the same here too. The west coast is city desert, and the east coast is generally city yeah. mountains. So, yeah. And the Weather Channel coming up next. Uh, the weather in Channel. Five. In five, yeah. we'll have weather on the fives. I I was yeah. in a hangout. Uh, so stay stay tomorrow. tuned for report near you. And it was nothing. I, I'm not. This is not a complaint. It was just I hadn't been in a hangout like this in a long time, where not everybody knew each other. And so it was, where are you and what is the weather like in your city? And <laughs> it just kind of made me laugh. Because <laughs> I've been on Google Plus so long, most of the hangouts are, I know everybody or like one or two people are new to me. But this was, uh, it was the weather like. And I have a slight fascination with weather. And I like to know where Jim Cantori is. And I hope one day he'll be on my front doorstep. But still, it was funny. Maybe not so much, but that was my thought. <laughs> yeah. So we plus came tonight, or are we doing it tomorrow for some reason unknown to me? Oh, no, yeah, I was going to do it. Yeah, I eventually, I originally said that because some crazy guy wanted to meet with me to edit his web series, and I didn't really, and if you're watching, which you're not, maybe you're not crazy because I haven't met you yet. So. <laughs> But uh, he made, basically he made me the editor. I just said, oh, okay, what is this thing? Let me look at the script. I didn't look at the script yet, and he's all, you know, he's being aggressive. I like that. I like that. But he was, he was going to have a meeting with me. Then he said, oh, but the leading lady is away on her Grand Canyon vacation. You are, but in his, in his world, I don't know. I don't know who he is. Anyway. Well, I don't know who he is either, so he must be. I don't know who he is. Anyway, so that's what that was. And so and then we're doing it tonight. 
at some point. Nine. It'll be on between nine and, and that's fifteen. Like an if I Could we do an HOA with that? You want to you want to do it you want to do an upper endoscopy or your I mean if we get the paper an HOA upper endoscopy we probably can only record it we can't do it live and the Foley Temp wants us to know that it's seventy seven degrees here in New York City <laughs> Cleveland Center uh, can I get a check can I get a hey Jim Cantori that guy is gonna get blown away literally one day right he's gonna be what what well, oh no, 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 <laughs> I know he's always in various places he's always getting blown this way and that way. Right. Would you? Uh, I, I mean, remember, yeah. Yes, I was. I was so amused by him. I took the original uh, Carmen San Diego theme and I replaced it with "Where in the World Is Jim Cantori?" And I used to play that on my radio show. Just, I don't know if it made anyone else laugh, but I thought it was hilarious. It, it still makes me laugh. Hmm. Clearly, it doesn't. Did make you me ever? Laugh. Did you ever? No, I mean, I didn't hear the song. Did you ever find? Jim Cantori? Well, yeah. He always said on the Weather Channel. He's always saying. They always put him in a box. He's in a box on the Weather Channel. Yeah, I can put... Usually with a... <laughs> wow. Yeah. Speaking of boxes, you're going to box up those brownies and send them off to your sister. Now, is your sister... What, now, what is the occasion? By the way, just, by the way uh, today, Gilberto at Ronquillo will receive some of the jam he ordered. That is the strawberry, and this is the blueberry. And over here is the peach. Yeah, I got nothing else to do with cook and bake. It's pretty exciting. Pretty that's exciting that's stuff. You make your own jam, so that's good. Yes, we can now do an HLA when I make jam again. When you have your jam going, your jam session. Yeah. Ashton, what do you, can we? Uh, we hear a lot of crisps and crust. Can we get some uh, some visuals? Uh, is it? Uh, actually, I've just had I've just had someone offer to pay me to do one, which is sure. really nice. Well, there you go, there you go. And I offered. I mentioned that idea. Maybe it was from here. Probably not. Uh, yes. Yeah. Martini. And I will take no pennies from you. I said, sure, I'll do it, and you throw whatever pennies at me you think it's worth. Which is always great, because it's got that guilt element and that charity element and yeah. that philanthropy But is it really charity people. if you're doing something? Isn't, isn't the whole point is you're doing something and they're paying for everything, it? Therefore it's every, everything I'm doing at the moment is charity. It's charity for the world of making there more love everywhere. Like, so you can't turn a corner you without You are the Australian John Lennon. I know, I right? I'm okay. gonna give you a chance. Imagine, right? imagine all the people. And then what? Yeah. <laughs> Living in yeah. harmony. Oh my God! You can't, you can't. Say oh this my God! It was. Like I that. just, I just referenced I you, and you missed it. At least Jane got it. Thank God, 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 God for me. Thanks. You don't think? Wait, you don't think yeah, that I got God that? You, you don't think that I got that? I, I don't know. I, I was I totally think, with you. I think dude. normally you would, but. You, I got yeah, your okay. song reference. Yeah, don't be you all like. I got don't think song. that I missed. I got stuff. your song I reference right here, buddy. Yeah, I don't miss anything. All right. I saw some of the when they did it before. It was called the Blue Collar Comedy Tour, and this time it's called Them Idiots, and it's Jeff Foxworthy and Bill Engvall and and um, Larry the Cable Guy, and my friend Larry the Cable Guy. I have photographic proof. We've worked together, and. They were playing, I think in Ohio, where this concert was done. And they had an announcer who was a stand-up comic, who was their opening act, and he only did five minutes. And Jim had me watch the guy twice. And I had mm -hmm. first made a fleeting thought about the, the opener. And then the second time I said, really, it's not that his jokes are bad. They're not. I've, I've seen comics that are, are so much worse. But it was his timing. All of his timing was off. If he just knew how to deliver a joke, he, he really could have been um, subpar or even good or almost good. But the timing made me cringe. Timing, by the way, is an old Steve Martin joke. Okay. 
I mean, when yeah, I, I caught, I caught, I caught your 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 little little tiny joke, but uh, you didn't give the full state market. Well, I can't help it if you don't know the classic. Oh, you're a wild and wacky and crazy, or wild and crazy. What is your favorite Steve Martin movie, Martin? I don't have a favorite Steve Martin movie. Well, I take that back. Um, I do like All of Me, and I sure. do like L.A. Stories a great deal. Big S, little A, little oh. N, big G. Little E. <laughs> Little yeah, I remember John Lucas with the uh, the musical where he was the prostitutes and he was we are for a living. Something like that. Uh, I now of course I quote the jerk freely, but what, what about my blue story? I quote my blue heaven because that's. Spanish from Heavens is not my favorite because the whole lipstick nipple thing. When I saw it, I was so young. I thought, wow, that's kind of freaking me out. Because I thought it was a musical, like an Astaire and Rogers musical. Next thing I know, there's lipstick on nipples and weirdness. Right. And totally. Oh, I just been my. I wasn't really prepared for that. Yeah. Sounds like my uh, my experience with that. Monty Python's Meaning of Life. Well, actually. Yes, it was just like that Monty Python experience you told me. This told me just well, except it. that yeah, I was to eight. This just in Polly Tent said vicious love and song references. Polly what? Yeah it's they do. Vicious, yeah they do, Polly. Yeah references. they do. And it's eighty four degrees in New York City. His phone updated. Volume is heavy in the amount of routes. Routes, routes or routes. Twenty minutes away to the island and make a tunnel. And a forty minute at the G dub. Dirty round of scatters. Okay, I didn't get any of that. <laughs> That's that. So it could be my connection. I have to flash my old. Um, awesome. Let me, let me finish that sentence. I have to flash my old router today. Whoa. Why was it feeling lonely? Or. Well, I have a new one, and if I use the old one, then the house will be more efficient. So it's complicated tech yeah. stuff. You know, it's funny about the word flash that it has ash in it. There's always ash. I flash. know. Yeah. It also has lash and flash. Well, yeah, but that's not as exciting. So what it do you say when people say, hey, I'm going to flash ash, that's, that goes better than, you know, that seems to go. I Happy. say, I say please go right ahead. I would not be anywhere near as much of a gentleman if I stopped you, what you feel you need to do. So you go right ahead and you do Just that. And no, I don't that need to. None of the hangouts. Do it on your own time. Yeah. Yes. Telephone. Well, is it? If if you is if you're feeling the need, I'm not going to stop you, my friend. <laughs> we now interrupt the regularly scheduled program to bring you what I like to call Gina and like takes that. a phone call. Is it who is that? Yeah. Oh no, it is live. Would you like to say hello? Oh wait, what? this this could be. Oh, this could be yes, Tijuana calling. Yes, I didn't yes. spell it out for you. Yes. That's a good movie that Steve Martin was in. But My Blue Heaven, I love. And planes, trains, and automobiles. Yeah, I just picked up the phone. Okay, bye. <laughs> and that, this has been Jane Ellen answers the telephone. Well, that's because I knew who it was. We all knew who it was. Dirty Rotten Scandal. Was it Tijuana calling? No, it was New York City. No, Tia One has been kidnapped as far as I know. All right, fair enough. Never heard from Tia Wana. Um, they nap the kids, they kid the naps. No idea if Tia Wana is even alive. Is Tia Wana real or is Tia Wana... No, that's for real. Ooh. I swear to God and mm. all these brownies, Tia Wana is real. Hashtag Tia Wana is real. Hashtag awesome. When did we start saying awesome sauce, by the way? Um, uh, do you like that or do you hate that? A small planet or just a small moon? The first, time, the first time a pig met a squashed apple, I think. Is it to you? What, awesome sauce? Or do you like it? Yeah, it, it, it does annoy me a bit because it just gets overused. Well, 
someone made a page for it. Everything is like awesome. I like to support pages, and so I used to say everything was plus plastic. So now I'm like, all right, awesome sauce. But I can go back to plus plastic. Do you prefer that? Well, you are plus plastic. Aww. You know, turning off the air conditioning because we ran it so much last week when it was 185 degrees, and then turning it off today, and then turning the oven on, not so smart. No, that's okay. Oh, that's would you like me to save it for tonight? I'll save it for tonight in case McCaskey has not been kidnapped to talk about True Blood, or I could tell you about it now. Uh -huh. If we really are waiting for the brownies, uh, I, I did watch earlier today. Did it bite? Um, well, finally, uh, we get to see Big Hunky Werewolf take his shirt off again. I've waited several seasons for that. Not seasons, episodes. LC. He is, he's, uh, he's a nice looking man. But I do remember this. I don't, I don't remember the name of the actress who plays Pam, but, but she said everyone is always starving on the set because everyone has to be either unclothed or in incredibly tight clothes. Right, so it's pretty sad. They're not just starving, you know, they're probably like doing push ups and sit ups yeah. and punches and pull ups. Yeah, because there's. I mean, well, Lafayette is pretty beefy, but he's not jiggly. He's beefy, but he's not jiggly. Is that Christopher Maloney? No. But you know what? And he's solid, too. But he's got some perky man boobs, I noticed. Because they show him. <laughs> instead of wow. Um, yeah, but in fairness, I mean, I don't know. I'm not opposed to his man boobs. I'm just saying. I'd never seen him without a shirt on, and I went, huh. I, I, that was just kind of surprising. Yeah, I think he always was pretty much in shape. He was a big... Yeah, he's not older. out of shape. He's just, it was just a different shape, that's all. It, there's Oops. nothing wrong with it. I have no issues. Is he good uh, on that show? I think he's good. I've noticed uh, some people, well, of course, there's gonna, hate is going to hate. Hashtag hate is going to hate. Uh, some people don't like it, um, but, you know, it's a new character, so, of course. And it's a whole new storyline. He's like, I'm sick of being the good cop on Law and Order. Let me leave to the issue of blood. And he's a bad guy, right? Not, not really. It's, it's the whole vampire organization. He is the authority. Is that my authority? Yes, he is, probably. I don't and know so he wears show. suits and... He's, you know, he's like the Godfather. He is. Has and he's he has he killed man. a lot or no? Um, I'm trying to think, maybe just once that I saw. And actually, I knew they. It was last week's episode. You know, vampires can be vampires at any age, and then they they live because we know all vampires are all real. And so there was this kid, who let's say he was ten. I don't know how old he was. So one of them was a bad guy, and I thought, well, out of all of them, surely they're not going to take out the kid. And then I went, oh yes, they are. They're going to take out the kid. So that's who he killed. They killed the kid. But you didn't see it. You just saw the splatter because that would have been a little too harsh, even for HBO, to see him stake a kid. Well, I mean, even though the kid was, it was a little. It, was, would you of, say it was harsh to see Kirsten Dunst die in *To the Vampire* or the ash and the dust? Uh, Spoiler alert, one. Yeah, in case you hadn't seen that. That one. Everyone well, knew the that... The vampire was a really good... Yeah, everyone knows that uh, River Phoenix was supposed to be the part that Christian Sager played. But he died. You know, we've drawn out making brownies to just be this long, long... Effect. Oh, we are just talking about everything. So how are the brownies... Or can we get a shot in the oven? I mean, of the brownies? So you can see that how I... How that sounded like a money? euphemism? Uh, if it sounded like a the euphemism, oven. then it was a euphemism without talking about right. what it was. There, ah, there it yeah. is. There we go. Picture. There we go. You know, where would my content come from if I didn't have you and Brownies? Uh, you wouldn't have it. What would I do? I can't, I can't function. I am so freaking hot. I'm going to get a case. And modest, which is what we know about you. So, uh, I think uh, the Brownie show is done. All right. Well, so, Ash, you were kind of quiet. We're going to wrap up. Do you want to wrap up with any special uh, messages to those people that have crushes? Any crushes. Any cru is there any, yeah. any advice you can give don't, someone don't about? Be a, don't be afraid to love. Don't be afraid to give your heart. Now, Are any say, of them proposals of marriage, by the way? Yeah, that would be a mistake. Not a one. Huh. Not a one. 
No. Now, but when we talk about crush, we're talking about people that barely know each other, right? Sneak preview. What does it say? Oh, that's so cute. When Holly met Sally. That's really cute. Yeah, it was. Actually, actually, Mr. Rappaport, this one's for you from me. Oh, that's so sweet. Now, I have to tell you, I I, I'm going to have to require you not to wear the hat all the time, because I think the hat would be distracting our relationship. That's, you know, <laughs> so, well, I think this could be this could be a deal breaker. I am a very I I don't have a lot to ask, but that could be the deal breaker. I'm sorry. And I would ask that if you have, if you own a guitar, you must use your guitar. That can be arranged. <laughs> well, I meant, I meant Although I think you, music. you're already putting pressure on me, man. You're already like putting. Hey, you know, if we're gonna, if we're gonna get, if we're gonna really get into it, I gotta, you know, it. You gotta, yeah. Why, why yeah. start it if we already have issues, right? Yeah. Performance anxiety. Yeah. No. Yeah, you got a point. I, uh, these things, I think these, so. like, like, <laughs> like so many flames, it burns so brightly and dies so quickly. But it was real while it lasted. <laughs> have you, now, how many times have you used that line before, Ashley? <laughs> Six More times th tonight, baby. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Six times. I feel like I should... Oh, <laughs> Here we go. Hey, that's pretty cool. All right. Now I'm like you in rhyming. Stickle. Stickle. <laughs> <laughs> now you really do look like Giovanni Ribisi. That's that's really a little bit uncanny. That's scary. What do you mean? Like he had, he had like calls. He like take, you ever see Boiler Room? No. Okay. Yeah, I'm I think I've seen it, but I'm not. That. No, I'll see you gentlemen tonight. Jane Allen is leaving us tonight. Jane Allen, the woman that made brownies for a hundred years. We're gonna go see too. But what's uh, you never saw Boiler Room? I'm trying to think what else. No, I saw it, but I'm not that familiar with it. I'm trying to think what he's. I mean, obviously he was a prince, but I don't like doing that. He did like the southern. Oh, he's been in some huge films. Heaven. Guns he was in Heaven. He was also in something with something with Halle Berry, where she where she kill. Well, spoiler alert for anyone who figures out what it is, but she kills everyone and blames it on someone else. Yeah. And Giovanni Ribisi and her are. Um, she's a reporter. He is a. Res I don't know what it but. was. It was good. Um, He's in lots of great films. He's so in a lot of supporting stuff. He was oh, in. He, he was, was in. He, um, was in, he was in Avatar. Well, of course he was in Avatar, but he was. He didn't do much in that. Well, um, he did a lot of. Funny he didn't do much. He was in this cast. He, he did. He, he did. A, he had a really good supporting role where he did one of his rougher characters in. In um, hang on, I've got the movie here. It's like One Time Job or something. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. I remember him being on Entourage with someone else? Maybe with with some. Was it? With I don't know what it was with, but they had a script, and he's like, yeah, we want you to read our script about a fireman. We want you to read, you, you read our script or not, huh? You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know, that's probably bad. That's, um, that's more like Jude Pesci. Yeah. One, for, one for the money. That's a recent one he was in. I forget who the main character was. I think it was Mark Wahlberg, actually. Mark Wahlberg. One yeah, for the money. It was actually a pretty good film. He's older than me. Oh, yeah, same time Ryan, of course. Uh, the Brownish show is almost over. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's coming to you on yeah, I like that. He actually does that that scene where he died and since Saved in Private Ryan. That was good. He did a, such a good job on that. Oh, that's right. He was in Lost in Translation. He was the, uh, the loser boyfriend. Can't, I can't believe Lost in Translation is almost a decade old. Nine years already. Wow. That uh, scares me. That was a brilliant film. See, so they're just rolling off. But yeah, no, there's one that I want to mention that you won't have seen, and it's with Kate Blanchett, for anyone who is a Giovanni Ribisi Now, is it Kate Blanchett, or is it Kate Blanchett? I don't know which one. I don't know. Anyway, go on. I know. She, isn't she Australian? We'd say Blanchett. But anyway, this film is called Heaven, and uh, they both speak Italian in the film, so it's uh, subtitles. I think there's a little bit of English. But there's one of the most brilliant Giovanni Ribisi films and Kate Blanchett, but everything she touches turned to gold. But um, this film is stunning. It is absolutely Oh, beautiful. he is in Ted. Uh, that's a reason to see it. He's in the new movie we've talked about. Oh, there you go. Um, yeah. I'm trying to see. Well, in, in, in Boiler Room, he's, he basically, you remember in Boiler Room, spoiler, he, uh, he goes in there and he thinks it's a real place and he learns it's kind of a scam and then they, they catch him on tape and then he has to, like, you know, 
get out of there and work and work with the FBI. And uh, then he tells Vin Diesel, who's in there, who plays the stockbroker, he's not he's not kicking butt. He's just kind of sir, sir, I uh, sir. That's the, and so he's like he go he warns Vin Diesel because he's friends with him, and he's like, and then Vin Diesel's like, what did you do, sir? What did you do? You just had to sh- keep your mouth shut. And then, and then this is where he's like, no, no, man. They had they had tape conversations, man. They had tape conversations. They they had recordings. They had, you know, they had all that, man. There you go. There was my GM on our piece mm. that everyone's been waiting for. Uh, it's been a pleasure, Ash, and I hope you continue to make. Always a pleasure. Scribbles. Can I see? Can we get a close up scribble so I can get a, end on that picture? You serious? All right, you can do that. Uh, no, because it's got the name on it now. I can't, I can't. It's got the name on Isn't it. I'm there sorry. Like one that we don't, oh, hang on. I can, I can hide know? the name. I can hide the name. Hide the name. I can hide, hide the name. name. I can hide the name. I can All hide right. the name. I just want to see the, the crush thing. Okay, so what, it's Scribble Crush is the yeah. hashtag. So people, and this is yeah, only for today. Crush. What, let's plug this. So if people want no, scribble yeah, crush. It's, it's, no, it's, it's not going for long. People can do a search. I can't, I can't do millions of the things, but you know, okay. I've got you, a few you, lined you up. You don't want I can your fingers to, to fall off. All right. Well, that was uh, Spirit cooking, fingers. Spirit fingers. With Jane, cooking brownies with Jane Ellen and making scribbles with Ash, and I was the uh, man in the middle making it all go bang. See you tonight on Plus Tainment Show. Ash might be there. Mikowski might be in Tijuana. Holy Ted might show up if people like him this week. I like him every week. I don't understand. I don't know. That was my Walton Shatner. Mm. Well, Billy Shatner. I don't. I have no idea what impression I'm doing now. We're still watching the three of you. Thank you so much. Uh, peace. And by three, I mean three million. And uh, go plus one a cat. All right. Talk to you later. Giovanni, catch ya.